Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Plosek with MindTickle and I'm gonna be talking about why CROs are focused on revenue intelligence right now. And let's start with a couple use cases and what revenue intelligence even means. So the first is really solving for buyer engagement issues at every stage in your sales cycle. So revenue intelligence will basically transcribe and score every email, meeting and call so that you can really focus on those truly engaged winnable deals and your team can go in and they can address known deal risks or issues of ghosting or low customer engagement um, to really win more. And so um, this is a little bit what it looks like. Our reps like to go in and, and self-coach or get some guidance from their manager on um, you know, where prospects are unresponsive, where they need to multi-thread, where a competitor was mentioned. Um, and so that is the first use case. The second solves needing to forecast on reality and not opinions. So a lot of folks forecast historically and CRM data was very inaccurate. With revenue intelligence, we can forecast with 95% or higher accuracy because we take into account each rep and team's historical performance and some of the unique nuances of each deal by scoring deal health. Um, and that helps us forecast with more confidence. The third use case is really about improving pipeline gen and win rate by building a data-driven coaching culture. So historically, people wanted to do deal and call reviews, um, but it was a little difficult to scale when you didn't have that single pane of glass view, when you didn't have really great data. Now we're seeing that more managers, uh, or excuse me, fewer managers can manage more reps and they can do two or three times more deal and call reviews by leveraging revenue intelligence. So uh, some of the other reasons why I think this is happening now at this moment in the market, the first is really alignment. So we're moving away from a world where people are just focused on revenue and sales to one where they're focused on that entire customer journey and every single handoff and every single stage in that process needs to provide full transparency and visibility and really follow a playbook. Increasingly, we're also seeing that more people are involved in closing a deal. So there's a, a bigger need for collaboration and this can play a big role in that. Data and insights specifically on how people are performing in the field, not just the activities they're doing, but the quality of their communication with customers, whether the engagement's real or not. And then perhaps even more importantly, unlocking those really great customer insights on what customers are saying, doing, responding to, um, so that you can ultimately improve that customer experience and really personalize it. Um, and as I mentioned, culture of coaching is a really important one, and this helps with that. Um, so we at MindTickle recently put out a report on this whole topic of driving revenue productivity. We interviewed CROs and executives from 400 plus companies, so you can go and check that out. And for those of you who aren't familiar with us, we offer a revenue productivity platform. We give reps all of the training, content, and insights they need to drive deals forward. And those uh, that include solutions for sales enablement as well as sales operations. Um, so please, if you have questions, drop them in the comments and we are happy to answer them. Thank you for listening.